Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline Miller of Designs by Jax. Last night, my daughter Haley, say hi Haley, hi. was sitting at my desk uh, making a card and she showed me this really cool technique that she came up with and we thought it added a really fun texture to the project that she was working on and we just wanted to share that with you today. But before I begin, I wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about how I got this background texture on the background but not in this area. You use what's called a uh, mask and you guys can just take any image that you have in your uh, stamp arsenal, stamp it on a scratch piece of paper, and then fussy cut around it, and there you have a mask. Just stick a piece of double stick tape on the back, and then you can stick it down on your white base or whatever color base you have, and then just stamp over the top of it. And then when you go to remove it, you're going to have that white space still left there. Now I'm going to have Haley show you what she did. Um, normally when you stamp an image, you take your stamp and you just push straight down with it, with even pressure. But she did something a little bit different. Why don't you show us, Haley, what you did. She pushed it back and forth on her stamp pad, and because it has a little bit of uh, texture to it, it kind of gives some lines to the image. Stamp it down. Solid there. There you go. That's all right. You guys can see, though, that there's a little bit of added texture, um, which we thought it was kind of cool for these lips because it adds lines and lips have lines. But that's all there is to it. We tested it on a Stampin' Up! pad and a Close to My Heart pad, and it worked on both of those. You guys feel free to try it on others and see if it works for you. And that's it. Isn't she creative? All right. Thanks for joining us today, guys, and we hope you have fun with this.